I've been very much into getting things done, GTD, for many years now. And I've been using different systems, task management, apps and services and so on. But in the last year I have been using a method called calendar blocking or time blocking, only using my calendar. And that is the method I use now to be able to get things done. It's my task management system now. And I think that is the most effective, productive method system yet. And the way I use calendar blocking or time blocking, if you prefer, is to almost overblocking my calendar. I want to have everything in the calendar. Every time of my day should have a block of something I should do. Of course, that doesn't need to be work all the time. It could be pauses, drinking coffee, for example. What I mean is that everything you do during a day should be in your calendar and it should be planned forward in your life so you always can see what you should do if you look at your calendar. And you should use a calendar that is easy to drag and drop these time blocks of stuff you should do so you can easily move them around, especially during the week. And it's very important that you check your calendar and adjust your time blocks a couple of times every day and also in the start of a new week and in the end of a new week you should always have an overview of your whole week what you have done and what you should do and in the end of a week you should move all the stuff that you didn't do that you need to do over to the next week and during the day you maybe can and do something earlier than you have planned in your calendar then just drag that time block up in your calendar to the time that you are working on it that means that it will give you a real pleasure because you will have time left where you have planned that beforehand so now by you doing that a bit earlier in your calendar then you have some free time that you can either do something else or having spare time, a coffee break or something that inspires you to do even more and it is a real pleasure to have that possibility to have a spare time block to do something else on. And a time block should be at least 15 minutes in my system. So a time block can be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or 60 minutes or even longer. But the minimum time block should be 15 minutes. And in my system I have different colors for different stuff I do. For example work stuff I have in red color. And I have YouTube stuff for example recording videos, recording recording my voice or b-roll or something I have in orange yellow color and everything I do home family private life and so on is green and I also recommend you to have a color for spare time in your calendar for example a coffee break this means that you can easily see what every time block is for category of work or things you should do and it's also important to move a time block that you had in your calendar that you didn't finish or didn't have the time to do when it come up in your calendar then it's very important to move that immediately to a, a new place in your calendar either the same same day or in another day that week. So my system, this method is very effective because it makes you do more and it also makes you have a motivation all the time so you don't get bored of something and so on. You should always know what you should do next. Some people think that you should have some air between time blocks so you can move them around easier but to me I think overblocking works better so I fill up my day as much as I can so I don't have any air between my time blocks because then I feel even more productive and effective. 
and I also strictly tries to do every time block when it comes up in my calendar. So for example, I have a time block for recording video every day in the evening. I am very strict that I will work as long as that time block is in my calendar. So I start work when it shows up in my calendar and I stop working when the time block is finished. That means that I always work with that specific thing for that period I have set in my calendar. That means also that it's a relief every time I have done that so I feel very inspired and motivated to continue do what I should, what my calendar says me to do. So again I say it's very important that you move a time block if you didn't finish it or didn't have the time doing it. So you have to move it immediately to a new place in your calendar. And once again, it's very important that you review your calendar all the time, many times every day and many times during the week. And when the week is over, you have to review what you have done and what you have not done and move those time blocks that you didn't do to a new week. And as I said, everything you do every day should be in your calendar all the repetitive tasks should be there brush your teeth every morning and evening for example have that in your calendar if it takes more than 15 minutes of your time so everything you do every day that takes from 15 minutes or more should be in your calendar the calendars i show in this video is just demo calendars just for presentation of course my real calendars is more advanced and have more advanced tasks to do but i can show them for you because they are both more private and more work stuff that i can't show you and lastly i just want to say that it's important that you move up stuff that you can do earlier during the day so if you have something in the afternoon and you feel that you can do that before lunch then just move it up before lunch and do it that means that you free up some time and space in your calendar during the afternoon okay i hope this was helpful for some of you please like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel i need more subscribers so do that okay bye